I'm going to discuss in this video the substitution and income effect. Now imagine we have a budget line like this, the green line, and the price of Y is $7.50. We know we can buy 20Y, which is that 20 right there. If you take that 20 times $7.50, that equals $150, which is our total income. That means we purchased only product Y. We take this $150, we divide that by the quantity of good X, which is 10, that quantity right there. This means the price of good X is $15. I'm going to draw in the indifference curve, which is purple, and the consumer would consume at the point 1, which is 14 of good Y and 3 of good X. If you did the math, it should equal $150 too. Now imagine the price of good X drops from $15 down to $6. We can take 150, which is total income, divided by 6, which is the price of X, and this will tell us how much quantity of good X we can buy, which turns out to be 25. The consumption of good X increases to 25, and the budget line rotates around point A and shifts out to point C, which you'll see in just a second. There it is right there. Now if I put in another indifference curve, which will be the next indifference curve up, we imagine that the consumer doesn't want to move that indifference curve. They want to stay on the one they're at. So, so since they want to keep on the same indifference curve, we shift that down like that, and the consumer moves from 1.1 to 0.2, and that's where they consume at now. They consume 8 of y and 8 of x. This is called the substitution effect, and in this case, it equals 5. The consumer has just shifted moving from y to x because now x is less expensive. That's why it's called the substitution effect. I'll draw in another indifference curve, and I'll label those 1 and 2. Well, what happens when the consumer consumes at point 3 now? Which means the consumer consumes 12 of quantity x. This is called the income effect. In this case, a decrease in price is like getting an increase in income, and in this case, it equals four. A decrease in the price of X means there'll be a total effect of consuming nine more units of good X. There's two effects here. The total effect's nine, and the substitution effect is four, and the income effect is five. The consumer substitutes X for Y now, since it's cheaper, and cheaper prices are, in essence, an increase in income.